Hello, welcome back to another episode of Northwest Backyard Barbecue. My name is Tim, and today we're gonna to be making Coney Island hot dogs with a Coney Island meat sauce. Uh, so the Coney Island hot dog was invented in Coney Island uh, around the uh, turn of the century. Uh, it came over from, uh, from the Greeks, uh, Macedonians apparently, that came through Ellis Island. Uh, they brought that with them. Uh, and actually, rumor has it too, they actually outlawed the name hot dog because they were afraid people uh, were gonna think that people were actually eating dogs. So anyway, we're not eating any real dogs today. We're eating actually a hot dog. Uh, but we're gonna put this meat sauce together and uh, put that on the top of them and uh, we're gonna get started with that right now. So what we've got here, we're gonna have some bacon which we're gonna go ahead and start frying up right now. This is all heated up. So we're gonna get that going here. And uh, what we're gonna do after this bacon is rendered down, we're actually going to put the ground beef uh, in here in the bacon grease, remove the bacon, and put the bacon on top of the hot dogs. So we'll get that going here. Then we're also gonna have about uh, half of a uh, sweet onion. This is a Walla Walla sweet onion. Uh, pretty much what we eat here in the Northwest. Excellent onions. Um, a lot of people use Vidalias, I think more on the East Coast, Midwest, that type of thing. But over here we have Walla Walla sweet onions. And uh, then we're gonna have two pounds of ground beef that we're gonna stick in there. Uh, we've got uh, here, we're going to have about um, a cup and a half of ketchup. Going to have some white sugar, some brown sugar. This is going to be distilled white vinegar. Then we're also going to have here, and also by the way, the white sugar, uh, we're looking at about two tablespoons, brown sugar, about three tablespoons, uh, white vinegar, about a quarter cup. Then we've got some yellow mustard, about a quarter cup. And then we've got some celery seed here, which is gonna be about a teaspoon of that. Uh, and then we're gonna do some uh, Worcestershire sauce, probably about a teaspoon of that. And then I'm gonna put some barbecue rub. You can put your favorite rub. I'm gonna use Killer Hogs uh, barbecue rub today. Uh, and that we're gonna put in about um, two tablespoons of that. A couple dashes of um, hot sauce, probably about a teaspoon to two teaspoons. And then some black pepper. So there's your uh, ingredients, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this bacon browned and um, get it out of the pot. Put the uh, beef in there, and I'll bring you back when I do that. Okay, here we are back with you. Got this bacon uh, about done uh, down here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. This is what we're gonna put on our Coney dogs, but we want that grease in there just to kind of kick up our meat sauce a little bit. Now, this is not a traditional Coney sauce. Uh, I, this is uh, my variation. So, you know, traditionally you would not have the bacon grease in this, but uh, again, I like to, I like bacon and uh, most people do. I know my family does and that's what we're adding. If you don't want to add the bacon, don't put any bacon. That's fine with me, uh, but we do like bacon. So we're going to go ahead and let that set off so we're ready for it later. And now we're going to add our beef. That was about a half a pound of bacon too, by the way. I don't know if I told you that previously. So here we go with the beef. This is going in. There's one pound. Boom. Get that browned up. And turn that down just a little bit. And here's pound number two. Boom. Perfect. Okay. Get that kind of stirred in there and broken up a little bit. And then what we're going to do after this browns, we're going to add our, our onion in there. All right. So once we get all the ingredients in here, now you can also do this uh, in a crock pot if you want. Uh, you'd obviously brown your, your meat in a uh, skillet or a pan, and then you can dump it all in the crock pot. Uh, after you get your onions in here too. So we're gonna go ahead and 
let this brown a little bit and then we'll add our onions in uh, and then uh, from there we're going to add everything else put a lid on it let it simmer for a few hours but uh, first let me bring you back once i've got this brown and then we'll add in the rest of the ingredients and uh, after that we will put together a hot dog which i'm actually going to grill on the blackstone uh, griddle and uh, put some cheese on it top it with this sauce it's going to be awesome so let me bring you back here in just a second when we got this hamburger brown okay i'm back with you and looks like we're about ready to add in our onions and uh, i'm going to try to show you what that hamburger looks like kind of a hot pot but there we go so there's what we're looking working with right there uh, it's broken up I kept stirring it that's what you want to do you want to make sure that hamburger is good and broken up uh, you want little chunks you don't really want any big chunks of hamburger in there so uh, you just got to keep stirring it so now we're gonna add in the rest of our stuff but first let's put in our our onion and we're gonna let that cook for about a minute or so let it go that long but now we're gonna go in with the ketchup and again this is about a cup and a half of ketchup okay perfect Now we've got the white sugar, brown sugar, yellow mustard, celery seed. few dashes of Worcestershire which again that's going to be about a teaspoon and we're going to put in a couple tablespoons of barbecue rub make sure you use a barbecue rub that has a salt content in it because kind of use that rub as the salt and then we're going to put in a few dashes of hot sauce because I don't know how you like it this isn't real hot it's just a Louisiana hot sauce uh, it's more of a vinegar based but it's uh, gives it a little bit of a spice and then of course I'm gonna add in some black pepper black pepper would probably be about half to a full teaspoon okay Mix that together and like I said now we're going to let this simmer covered for probably two two hours or so three hours if you I mean the longer you do it the better um, so you know three hours four hours uh, put it in a crock pot um, on low on high let it set in there and steep as long as you let it cook the more the flavors are gonna meld together but you want to have it in there at least two hours on that summer and let's go ahead and show you what that looks like this pot is hot so that's what we're working with right there there we go so again we're gonna let that simmer a couple hours and once this is done we'll pull out our hot dogs uh, put them on the blackstone grill and then uh, make sure and then we'll put the uh, put them on our buns put our sauce on there and top them off with uh, some onions some cheese it's gonna be great stick around be back with all that oops I forgot one thing just turned off the camera uh, and I realized that I did not put in the 
uh, white vinegar. So that needs to go in too. Again, we're really cooking here. Uh, we got no producers. We've got no directors. We've just got me in the backyard cooking. So sometimes we're gonna make mistakes, uh, but we caught it within about 30 seconds. So uh, it's in there. So again, we'll be back to finish this off once this is simmered for a few hours. See you in a bit. Okay, we're back and it's been about two and a half hours. Uh, this uh, coney sauce has been simmering that whole time. Um, I want to take a look down here. I actually changed pots to make it a little more manageable because I did call an audible. Uh, I am going to be uh, boiling the hot dogs as opposed to putting them on the Blackstone griddle because as you probably saw down here, I have these Seattle Mariners beef franks. I forgot I had these. I picked these up at Costco. Uh, these are the franks they serve at Safeco Field. Uh, I figured kind of going along with tradition uh, and the way they serve them over there uh, at Safeco Field where they boil them uh, or steam them. I'm not sure what they do, but I know they don't grill them. So I figure we're going to go ahead and grill or boil these today, uh, make them a little bit more like a uh, baseball park type hot dog with that coney sauce on there. Uh, and. Uh, that's also how they make coney dogs generally anyway is they stick them uh, in boiling water or steam them so that's what we're going to do today so i'm going to put them in this uh, boiling water for about uh, six or seven minutes i'll go ahead and take a look at uh, this chili sauce it turned out excellent look at that um, i did drain the grease off the top there was quite a bit of grease on the top obviously using all that uh, bacon grease as well as the grease from the hamburger so you do want to do that unless you like a lot of grease in your um, coney sauce but uh, we did we did drain quite a bit of that out of there so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut these dogs open and we're going to stick those in the boiling water and uh, again you're going to want to let these go for you know anywhere from five to eight minutes I'd say probably um, you know six or six seven minutes would probably be enough so I'm going to stick these in here and once these are done I'll be back with you in about seven minutes to put this together and give it a taste be right back with you okay we're back it's been about seven minutes and we're getting ready to go, to go ahead and put this uh, hot dog together so let's go ahead and do that now here's what we have down here take the lid off of that Oh, those look great fantastic now one of the other things I did here was I actually uh, warmed up a uh, bun in the oven about 300 degrees for 10 minutes or so uh, make it a little bit warm a little easier to make so we'll open that up here Get some warm all right that there pull out our one of our awesome Seattle Fletcher's dogs doesn't even fit on the bun but that's okay and now what I have here is a little bit of American cheese you can use any kind of cheese you like but the American cheese tends to melt pretty good and this is what I had on hand so that's what I'm gonna put in here this is just one slice of American cheese put it down here so when I put the chili on top it melts nicely put that on there now we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and go in with our chili oh that chili looks fantastic that right there this coney sauce is a sweet sauce um, it's kind of a take obviously on a meat chili but definitely just sweet savory fantastic okay and I'm gonna throw a little bit of onion on there now I know that some parts of the country putting ketchup on a hot dog is sacrilegious but that's the way I like them I do put ketchup on it I also put mustard and again I've showed you this before 
This is a Portland ketchup made in Portland, Oregon. Fantastic. Uh, no chemicals in it, just natural ingredients. Same with the mustard. So we're going to put a little bit of Portland mustard on there as well. Like so. And a little bit of Portland ketchup. Like so. Okay, I'm excited to take a bite of this. So, without further ado, let's do it. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be messy. But, that's okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is a fantastic hot dog. Unbelievable. Coney dog with that meat chili. I don't know if I've had a better dog. That is fantastic. So that's going to wrap it up. If you've never done a Coney dog with Coney sauce, give this a try. If you like hot dogs, if you like chili, uh, I'm sure you're going to like this. This is it's just fantastic. So thank you once again for joining me on this episode of Northwest Backyard Barbecue. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified of all of our new recipes. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks again. Bye.